So hello everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Preet. So Preet, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. So uh, myself, Preet Shet, and uh, I am in uh, DSD College. Currently uh, pursuing B.Tech degree in third year. And also, I am a coach chef. Uh, I am six star in coach chef and a candidate master in code forces. Yeah. So he's here to talk about computer programming. So Preet, tell us about your journey into computer programming, like your journey of becoming a six star on coach chef, and how should one practice computer programming according to you? So uh, I started uh, computer programming uh, after December twenty twenty. So it's been around uh, one year and eight months. Okay. So. Uh, at starting for uh, three to four months, I was just aware about only uh, one coding set, which was hacker rank. Mm -hmm. And in that, uh, we have one algorithm section. So uh, in that, we, I, I get some bit knowledge about all these uh, basic things like strings, sorting, searching, uh, DP, trees, graphs, etc. Mm -hmm. And it helped me a lot uh, when I just uh, started uh, giving contests in uh, Code Chef. So, mm -hmm. um, so after that i started giving uh, contests in uh, code chef regularly and also started uh, giving contests in uh, codes uh, code forces also so uh, at that time means like it happens that i just stuck on some uh, problem mm -hmm. so i just went to its uh, editorial and then uh, from there i just find some new topics like uh, segment tree fan vectory and uh, this like z function prefix function and that stuff so after that, uh, means like I just found that uh, to became means like uh, to increase my level. Mm -hmm. So I should, I should do some uh, more uh, preparation in uh, these theories. Yeah. So I so after that I just started uh, means doing uh, more work on these theories and I made my own uh, such a file like means mm -hmm. like in which I had stored my uh, snippets which mm -hmm. I had made. Like if I want to uh, get segmented then from that yeah. i can just get it and similarly for so many uh, other theories other mm -hmm. theorems and uh, other data structures mm -hmm. uh, which are which are very useful i got to know one thing like uh, if you want to be a uh, six star in code chef so first of all you have to solve some more difficult problems which are in code chef so you will get it in code forces right mm -hmm. so you should first solve uh, division two uh, up to c problems and uh, it will be uh, good if you uh, solve D also, division to D. So if you are able to solve this for a first four questions, then uh, at that stage, uh, you are you are um, is able to uh, become a six star. Okay. So basically what you're saying is your strategy has been like you were solving problems and whenever there was a problem you couldn't solve, you learned the topic which was there in the problem. You learned the yes. theory and then you learned that topic and that theorem, right? Yes. So that brings me to one problem that a lot of computer programmers face. So suppose they're not able to solve a problem. So they look at the editorial, they look at the solution and still they're not able to solve, they're still they're not able to understand like how to solve the problem. So what advice would you give to people if they're not able to understand the editorial? Okay. So one thing they can do is like, they just uh, uh, hold on that problem. It's like, they just keep, uh, 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 they just started another problem mm -hmm. and uh, after, after some time, like after one or two months, they again reach that problem and then see that if if it is able to means like after one month he got some another knowledge, right? Yeah. So means like uh, again if he reads uh, that editorial and then uh, it would be means like possible that he could mm -hmm. understand that. So you said that you learned the theory and theorems of the topics which were in the problem, so you didn't understand. So where did you learn those? So suppose there was a topic segment trees in a problem. So where did you learn segment trees for that problem? Where did you learn those theorems? Okay. So for that, uh, uh, I had found one very uh, nice book, uh, which was uh, a guide to competitive programming by mm -hmm. N.T. Lekensen. Maybe uh, it is quite famous. Uh, okay. So uh, that is the one source and uh, the another one is uh, the CP algorithm site, uh, which is also very helpful to me. And also uh, the main, the segmentary or what's up, uh, it was, I just found that in code forces blocks. Mm -hmm. So that uh, from, because in the book, I just found the theories, but to get the snippets and that stuff. So I will found it from code forces blocks, mm -hmm. to get the snippets and uh, the CP algorithm site. Okay, so basically for learning the theorems, you preferred the website CP algorithms and the blogs on code forces, right? Yes. 
basically yes. written material instead of video material maybe uh, that's uh, means like personal choice like mm-hmm. uh, someone uh, someone understands through videos mm-hmm. but uh, means like sometimes i just i also need some uh, video material means if the topic is quite very difficult then i just need to read it many times and uh, also see some videos for it mm-hmm. okay so if someone is starting computer programming right now someone wants to jump into computer programming and achieve high ratings what advice would you give to people on how to start computer programming so if he just started uh, then i would suggest him to uh, first uh, read some uh, logical uh, first uh, solve some logical puzzles rather than cp but mm-hmm. uh, other logical puzzles like uh, you can found it in interview bit in mm-hmm. puzzles sections so it would boost your uh, it will build your logic yeah so when after you uh, do this i mean after you do cp then it will be very helpful mm-hmm. right so first of all do this uh, puzzles and then just start uh, then just uh, do what whatever i just suggested it's like like uh, the strategy that you mentioned right yes 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 okay through topic wise so. yeah 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 like learning the topic from the problem that you couldn't solve right yes yes, yes. so a lot so, of problem uh, that a lot of people face this problem in computer programming that they're stuck in a particular level right you see a lot of people stuck at newbie level pup level two star level three star level and they feel like they're not able to progress to the next stage so what advice would you give to those people should they work harder should they work more like what advice would you give yes uh for that uh, one should uh, solve in a level wise problems like if you are uh, stuck in a 1200 level right yeah. in code forces so you should solve uh, uh three to four problems daily of okay. the 1200 level problem then uh, uh slowly slowly you should increase the level mm-hmm. because what happens that in uh, in uh, code forces uh, the first division 2 a question will be like around 800 uh, yeah. level division division 1 or uh, 2 b will be around 1200 and mm-hmm. c will be of for 1500 or 1600 yeah so if you are stuck in 1300 so you will not, you will feel like i i am not uh, getting this means like i am not yeah. so i able to solve c but the main thing is that you have to do in a level wise order so first solve 1300 problem then if you find out that yes now i am done means like i can do it mm-hmm. so after that you should increase your level mm-hmm. up to 1400 and then solve uh, so many problems of that and uh, by this you can increase your level okay so the final thing i want to ask you is how do you avoid the loss of motivation so a lot of thing that a lot of people face this is that they lose rating they're trying to get to a particular rating and they end up in a contest where they lose a lot of rating and they end up getting demotivated and it just goes further below and below so how do you avoid the loss of motivation for doing computer programming okay so uh one thing is that don't get panic uh, if your rating goes down because you know what is your i mean it's like what is your level right and uh, uh after that uh, there is no fear like if one time your I mean, uh, rating mm-hmm. decreases then uh possibly the probability of again decreasing will become less because yeah uh, right so don't get panic and you should feel like uh, 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 like a kyle share right yeah it's like like and angel then, and <laughs> yeah yes so after that uh, you you will uh, means like you have a desire like i have yeah. to do something uh, means like i now i will, i will reach this to get the rating back yes rating back and better than that right mm-hmm. okay so i guess that pretty much covers everything so thanks a lot preet for coming on my channel and sharing your journey with me and my subscribers so thanks a lot all right thank you so much for inviting me